What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. The last time you guys saw this car, we were at Midway and the car for some reason shut down after the run, for those of you who can remember. If I have a clip, I'll pop it in. Uh, I stopped the video there, I wasn't sure why the car did that, but right after I ended the video, the car fired right back up and it has been running ever since. There was a couple of comments saying that we blew the car up. Uh, none of that happened. We encountered a problem where it did the same a few weeks back, actually last week. Um, I'm not sure why it's shutting down after a run, but it's only after a run that has seen nitros. So I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it's still keeping up. Everything is still in one piece. What we are going to do today is I want to put the stack on. I want to go and test the car on the street. And I've seen some of the big guys do take the air filters off, so I am going to pop the stack on. This is for my Honda that I still have. So let's go ahead, put the stack on, and then we'll go and test the car on the street. Okay, so what this is going to do, um, this is a cheap filter, it's not a proper name brand filter. So I'm assuming this is hindering a bit of airflow. So we will take that off, put this on, and this should help. We've been running this on the Honda forever. Um, I don't want to run it permanently on this car, but I think we'll test it out in the street today. And then whenever we go racing, we'll put that on to the car. And once we're done racing, we'll put the air filter back. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this is a PD-130 1.9 TDI. PD-130 meaning 130 horsepower, 96 kilowatt, 6 speed. What we have done to this car, it has a dark side cam, it has stock injectors still. The motor is stock, it's got a port and flow head, and that's it for the motor. It's got ALP head studs, and then the turbo that we're running is a GTB 2260 that we upgraded to a 2565. With all custom boost pipes, custom intake, 4 bar map sensor, we've got nitros on the car, it's running a 100 horsepower shot, I think it's 100, 105 thereabouts. On the dyno it went from 200 wheel kilowatts on motor to 280 wheel kilowatts, so it gave us an 80 wheel kilowatt jump on this jetting. The nitros is finished, so we are not going to test with the nitros today, we are going to do boost only pulls. I am in fact going to pull the bottle out of the car before we go, because there's a lot of people saying that we're using nitros when we don't and a lot of that stuff which I'll get into a bit later on but for now let's put the stack on, pull the nitrous out the car and then we'll test. out this thing is empty you can see how light it is um, it's time for refill then we will have our gap insurance back before we go to the test spot I am going to set up all the GoPro angles so once we get there the only thing I'm gonna have to do is to check the tire pressures and then from there we'll be able to run the car but before we do that I want to show you guys some of the fun that we've had so from the last time you guys saw me we were out in Poch and we ran your Andre in his Cupra, which is making 270 something kilowatt, I think he was telling us. And our car is making 200 kilowatts on boost. I ran him two runs on boost, one run on nitros. I'll add that footage here. I'm not sure if it's going to be the greatest footage because I did not record, I didn't have anything with me. So I recorded with uh, your Andre and another friend's phone. And I never got the real footage from the racing But what happened was in the first run and I'll overlay that footage and I'll talk you guys through it So on the first run my passenger window does not open So we stopped our cars. I was in the right hand lane because I had the phone set up to record I had your Andre's phone set up to record to the passenger side and on the first run I forgot to press record rookie mistake on my end But we do have outside of the car footage as you can see from the run your Andre jumped me by, I think it was like two cars. I couldn't hear his hooter, obviously with the window not being able to roll down and me revving up my car, him revving up his car, I couldn't hear his hooter. So that was a mistake on my part. 
and he out, out launched me and then eventually I caught up and passed him. It was not an easy catch and pass but I managed to do it and that's how the first one went. On the second run you'll see Andre nodding his head as he's shooting because I obviously told him about the issue and we got off the line next to each other and from there on I started walking away from him. And then on the third run I decided to give it a bit of gas because Andre is in two minds of going gas on his car so I decided that let me show him what the gas does and then maybe then he'll be interested in putting gas on his car so the second run or the third run as soon as I hit second gear it was still wheel spinning a lot but as soon as we hit second gear I got on the gas and I started walking away from him once again I think he's missed the gear or he just backed out of the run I'm not sure what happened but you can see that I walked away from him and then the other night we went to street racing I wanted to film it for you guys but there was an issue all the street lights was out so it was pitch black dark as you'll see from the footage in a second that I actually did record from our runs um, but on that occasion we ran a X3 3 liter diesel it's a rear wheel drive um, it's got a hybrid turbo and nitros which they are not actually telling us the full story which seems to be a thing nowadays in the racing scene um, but on the first run we absolutely walk away from them so I think on the first run it was boost only the first run I ran in the right hand lane I ran in the left hand lane I ran in the left hand lane so you'll see the phone is set up for me to run in the left hand lane so that's the footage that I have and then he was saying that he spun a lot off the line but I don't think he spun a lot I just think that he didn't have his nitros ready for the first run and then from the second run I suspect that he had his nitrous on so he switched lanes but I did not have my phone set up to record the other lane so footage it was a lot closer from the second run so I'm assuming that he had his nitrous on at this stage because the first run I was walking away from him and the second run I could not then the other run that we had was against the BMW M140i the guy told us that the car stock at first then he raised someone else then I heard that he's got an intake and a downpipe so I asked him he said yes the car has intake and downpipe but he doesn't have JB or software and later on someone else told me that the car has water meth on as well which I can't confirm nor deny the guy did not tell me uh, it was an extremely good race so once again off the line we he, he was the one engaging the race so he he set us off and I immediately jumped I think it's two cars as you can see from the footage I jumped two cars on him stayed out on him over 200 k's an hour on the street so it was quite a long race I suspect it was way over 400 meters I don't think this car will exit over 200 k's an hour so it was a long race and on our way back we did a rolling run which once again we switched lanes and the phone was not set up to record the other lane uh, which is a problem at this stage but uh, caught myself with the big turbo the spool of the big turbo on the rolling because I haven't really done rolling runs so he jumped one car on me and then we kept the gap I don't have any footage of that but he jumped a car on me and then we kept the gap again so it seems like me and the M140 was pretty similar just uh, dependent on who got the jump but yeah that's the fun that we had over the past couple of months since you guys lost saw us we are going to set the cameras up drive out to the test spot and let's see I don't think I'm gonna share the times with you guys because if I end up sharing the times I already know there's gonna be controversy half of you guys are gonna say that I am running the car nitros and the other half is gonna say that the car is super slow but once we 
get out that the race is it's everything but so I'll still decide if I'm going to share the times otherwise I'll just keep it to myself and you guys will probably see what happens <laughs> I missed third gear on that run but uh, our 60 foot was quite good so you'll see with this tires we spin the car first gear we spin it off the line and then second gear like it almost dead hook second gear so yeah not too concerned about about the first gear wheel spin but second gear it definitely hooks and the tires is gonna get warmer as we do one or two more pulls I have to do more since I slipped third gear. So let's do this again. See what it did there. Shut down after the run. I'm not sure why the car is doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe after the run I should just rev it a bit or something because that is not that is not healthy. Uh, but we bogged that one off the line, so I'm probably gonna do one more run uh, just to see if we can get that perfect run in. So that was literally the perfect run. I don't think I'm gonna get it better than that. It is extremely hot today. I am dying inside this car. It's 33 and a half degrees. Listen how amazing this thing sounds without the without the intake with this stack on. I'm gonna let you hear in third gear. Listen to this. It 
It sounds phenomenal with this stack on. I absolutely love it. So I'm just editing this video and realized that I never filmed an outro for it. The issues that we experienced today was my own. Um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is my cap that I use for the POV shot. You can see there where's the GoPro clip. So when I put the GoPro on, let me grab a GoPro and show you guys. When the GoPro is clipped in, I can see almost nothing at all. Now, when I do normal driving, it's not an issue. Um, but when I need to launch the car and do everything perfect at milliseconds, then this was quite a bit of an issue. So I really, I really shafted myself today. So this is what it looks like. Um, in theory, because it's so close to my eyes, if I look further away, I can see perfectly fine unless I'm looking at the cluster that is sitting right here or I need to focus on shifting whilst looking at the cluster so that caught me a bit off guard but not making excuses um, I'm pretty sure that from the other videos that I showed you guys can tell that I that I do drive the car really well and I want to say that I'm not yet punishing the car although I am but I'm not hard on the gear shifts so there's still to be gained on the gear shift. I'm not flat footing the car, anything like that. So in that regard, I'm still taking it kind of chill. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, those burnouts we did today was absolutely killer. Those tires are nearly finished and we are nearly on 25,000 subs. Is it 25, 30,000? Hold on, let me have a look. I confused myself now. I think it's 25,000 subs. Thirty thousand. There you go. Can you guys see that? No, you can't. Why not? There you can see it. Twenty-nine thousand three hundred and seventy-five. So we are short uh, six hundred and twenty-five subscribers. Once we get to thirty thousand, I will roast these tires. I'll do a massive burnout. Um, for the cloud so we will make a lucky video of that um, but what I wanted to tell you guys was we are experiencing an issue for those who aren't following me on Facebook and Instagram you really should um, but I recently hit something over the weekend today's Wednesday I hit something over the weekend and I damaged one rim and our suspension I sent the wheel in on Monday got it fixed Put it back on the car yesterday and i only took the car out for the first time today and unfortunately it seems like the wheel is touching the coilover or something so i suspect that we bent the coilover uh, the suspension on this car has been on for i think it has been like 12 years it's tuning out it has been on for about 12 years i bought it second hand so it really is time for something else um leaning heavily towards uh, static arts it seems to be a nice brand and I also want to add camber plates in the front because for the drag racing that would help a lot but what's currently happening is our one wheel has camber so it sits inside the wheel arch like this and the other one does not have camber so it sits like this so it's riding the fender so if we can give this one a touch of camber and this one bring it out then we should be pretty good uh, so the car is spinning at the moment a lot more than it should because the one wheel is touching the fender Ah, touching the coilover. It used to run negative 2 degrees camber whereas the other one ran negative 1.2 So this one must be over 2 degrees now So I'm looking to get that fixed pretty soon Let me know what you guys think of static art A lot of people on Facebook and Instagram said that I must go with BCs But unfortunately that is out of the budget so I won't be able to go BCs. Uh, what I'm thinking is that money can be spent towards the K-Swap. Uh, but that will be a video on its own explaining where's the Honda 
but regardless I think that we can spend some money get this polo in a better state than it is now without having to spend 20 or 25,000 rand for suspension uh, if we do that there is a lot of other stuff that we can look at as well to improve our times speaking about times I plan on doing way more racing this year with the polo I want to drive it more on the street at street racing as well as track racing take it to Midvale and take it to quarter mile events see if I can get that car into the 11s it's going to be a tall order it's not going to be easy but I think our combination is right with a little bit of work here and there I think we'll be able to reach the 11s let me know what you guys think if you think it will be possible on our current setup and if not what do you think we should do because I think we've got a we've got a good base uh, a few small things and then I'm not, I don't want to say it should be easy because it's not if it were easy everyone would have been doing it but it is highly possible for us to send that car into the 11s so if we can start out mid to low 12s and then we know there's a bit of room for improvement I'm keen to see what we can do on that one so if you haven't done it yet drop a comment down below subscribe to the channel 600 and what did I say 625 subscribers we are doing one hell of a burnout for 30k and that's going to be it I'll see you in the next one bro peace out and reflect your passion